The following video is a demonstration of the setup and storage procedure for the Mobile Emergency Response Center Merck flatbed unit. This unit was designed to be a small, lightweight, highly mobile communication system that can be quickly deployed to provide a voice and data network anywhere in the world. As demonstrated in this video, within 15 minutes of reaching a disaster site, the Merck flatbed can be fully operational providing voice, data, video, wireless, cellular, satellite, and radio communications for a team of first responders. The first step upon reaching the disaster site is to ensure that the Merck trailer is parked in an area that is as level as possible. A clear view of the southern sky is necessary for aligning the satellite dish. The 60-foot antenna mast must be clear of any obstructions such as power lines or trees. Once Merck is parked, the four outrigger legs can be deployed on the corner of each trailer if the terrain is extremely unlevel. The outrigger legs can be extended from the trailer by removing the safety pins and extending the legs out another four to six feet. Once the trailer is level, power needs to be activated for the Merck. If local shore power is available, a 110 power outlet is provided on the side of the equipment cabinet that can be connected to a local power source. If local power is not available, then the generator can be used by simply holding the start button down for six seconds, allowing the generator to be primed and started. Once the generator is started, open the front door to the weatherproof equipment cabinet and turn on the power inverters located at the bottom of the cabinet. You will now have power supplied to all the electronics in the equipment cabinet. Now that power has been activated, the antenna mass can be raised. The lower mast is raised first by using the manual winch located on the base of the mast. Once the lower mast is raised, there is a safety pin located at the base of the mast that locks it into place. Once secure, the upper mast can be raised using the second manual winch located on the top half of the mast. The mast will extend 60 feet when fully deployed. The next step is to deploy the satellite dish. The satellite controller and GPS are located in the top of the equipment cabinet. To initiate the satellite deployment, simply press the run button on the satellite controller. The satellite dish will begin the alignment process which can take up to 10 minutes. Once dish has synchronized with the orbiting satellite, the satellite controller will display a solid green RX and TX for receive and transmit confirmation. This indicates that the satellite has successfully connected to the clear channel satellite network. All associated network equipment can now be deployed. Telephones can now be connected into the voice server. Computers and or wireless access points can now be connected into data ports. Portable radios can be used within a 15 to 20 mile radius of the trailer. IP-based video cameras can be plugged in and the Raytheon interoperability server can be used to extend phone calls to portable radios. The weatherproof equipment cabinet is heated and cooled by an electronic heating and air conditioning unit designed for outdoor use. This AC unit has been programmed to keep the cabinet between 50 degrees and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. External weatherproof wiring and electrical connections have been built into the side of the equipment cabinet to allow cable feeds to portable shelters, buildings, and other mobile command vehicles. The Merck was designed to provide all of the key communication components needed during a disaster response, but in a format that is much more affordable than a larger mobile command center and much easier to deploy.